What's up and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be running down the top five worst types of Borderlands players. Now, before you get upset and start smashing up the keyboard in rage because your favorite game is in the thumbnail, just listen to what I have to say, then make your voice heard in the comments below. While none of our opinions are wrong or entirely correct, it's fun to discuss and see what you all have to think about these lists. So without further ado, remember, this is my opinion on certain types of players. You might not agree on some of them, and that's okay. I just want to say, play however you want. If it makes you happy and you enjoy your time with Borderlands, that's what matters. But please, just don't be these guys. Coming in at our number 5 spot, we have BL3 Brian. These are the guys that think that if you do not believe Borderlands 3 is the superior Borderlands game, that you're wrong by right and they'll tell you all kinds of opinionated reasons why. Which you could come back with a response as to why you don't agree, but this would be just that, an opinionated reason. So instead of blowing smoke up each other's asses, let's just listen to whatever the other person has to say and respond when the video is finished. Also, since I don't have that game installed, I'll be using footage of the real third Borderlands game instead. But I'm serious, if these players hear one word about Borderlands 3 being a bad game, Pitchforks on Fire will be at your front doorstep within the next 48 hours. Let us have our opinion on what our favorites are and what games we don't give a fuck about. Don't try and tell me or anybody else why their opinions are wrong. Can you constructively criticize? Hell yeah, that's what this is for. But just listen to what everybody has to say. No one is wrong until proven otherwise. Opinions prove nothing. Facts and evidence do. Coming in at our number 4 spot, we have the Herald Warriors. Essentially, people who want a Herald every time they turn around. You just started a new save file with one of your friends, and the moment you get to Three Horns Divide, this man says, Yes, now can we get a Herald? And then you have to explain to him for the ninth time that you need to finish the mission first unless you get lucky with an extra Lee that spawns behind the fast travel, which actually can happen before you get to Sanctuary, but it is not common. The reason this is so annoying to me is that there are so many different snipers, pistols, shotguns, assault rifles, rocket launchers, that these players have never even given the time of day, instead just crutching on the old reliable. While I'm not trying to throw any shade, as I stated, play however the hell you want, but don't limit yourself to one gun when you have thousands at your disposal. While yes, I and anyone can admit the Herald is an overpowered ass gun, it doesn't mean that 90% of your gameplay should revolve around it. Try out other powerful ass weapons like the Sandhawk, the Kerblaster, Orphan Maker, Baby Maker, Bada Boom, the list goes on. Instead of trying to snipe shit with your double penetrating unkempt herald, go get a pimper nail. And I'm not saying this because I want you to quit using the unkempt herald, more so to just encourage you to try out some of this game's other items. And if you're one of these people, that's fine. I just personally would groan if we were level 10 and you need an unkempt herald. I'm sure I'll receive flack for this take, but it's something that I've really thought about. A lot of players limit their skill by not allowing themselves to use other gear, and instead just falling back on what they already know, which is of course the unkempt herald. What it really comes down to is trying new things. Don't feel afraid to pick up a gun and just try it. Coming in at our number 3 spot, we have Power Level Patrick. Oh man, where to even begin with one of my least favorite players in the Borderlands series? And before you even get mad, I don't care if you've done it or if you still do it. You're ruining people's characters and destroying the most enjoyable part of Borderlands games. Building your character. The second someone else steps in and helps carry you or boost your levels, that progress is no longer yours. Whether you care about that or not is up to you, but I personally enjoy earning my gear, my levels, and so on and so forth. You take that away, and I would have quit the game a long time ago. Because yeah, the end game is fun. There's nothing that compares to taking a character from level 1 to ultimate Vault Hunter mode. And while sure, three story playthroughs can be a slog, I actually enjoy UVHM. 
so I'm even more excited for it than I would be for normal or TVHM. Actually earning your way there is what feels so damn good. I don't know how else to explain it. If you don't want to play three playthroughs, just start the game on level 30, which if you didn't know, if you own the Commander Lilith's Fight for Sanctuary DLC, you can actually skip normal Vault Hunter mode and start on a level 30 save. They put that in the game for a reason. Don't ruin others' experiences by power leveling and fucking with their characters, especially if they're a new player and don't quite understand. Don't you have to be stupid somewhere else? Not until four. Let them enjoy the game and actually take it in. No one wants to feel like they need to be handheld the whole time or carried on your back. Just play the games and enjoy them for what they are. Because shortcuts only lead to quicker endings. Coming in at our number two slot, this group of fine individuals is a lot smaller than the flocks of Borderlands fans we just discussed, but it is indeed the new Tales Timmy. Well, I'm not going to insult- <laughs> Ah, you know what, fuck it. If you enjoyed whatever the hell this mess of a game was, I have to ask, have you ever been to the doctor? In all seriousness, no offense to anybody who does actually enjoy this game, but you might want to consider just going to the doctor and getting a yearly checkup every now and again. How dare you? And it's not even because it's not your looter shooter typical lands game. All I get from seeing new tales on the screen is your typical agenda shenanigans taking over an already polluted plot that was likely never great. The characters are insufferable, forgettable, and some of the players of this game actually think that the story was good. When I say players, I should add that that's a solid 20 strong and a raging zero viewers over on Twitch and YouTube. Nobody should go out of their way to play this game and they shouldn't spend any time online trying to convince others to literally burn money and piss time away on this garbage. The first tales Okay, I can enjoy that, I can get down with it. But this shit was literally like stepping on a Lego and accidentally stepping again with it still stuck to your foot. Honorable mentions. All right, guys, it's a shorter list today, but for the one honorable mention on today's list, I'm gonna have to give it to the Wonderlands Wilson. The people who actually hype this garbage and claim it's the best in the series. I'll keep this short because I'm doing an entire breakdown and retrospective on Wonderlands this Sunday. But just know that you players are the reason we've got Wonderlands 2 to look forward to in the next couple of years. So thank you for that. And if you're mad about my sarcasm, smash a dislike and don't let the door hit you on the way out. And coming in at our number one spot, we have the Cheesy Chad. Cheesing can mean a lot of different things, whether it's glitching the game, modding, or being even lamer in doing XP lobbies, or selling XP lobbies and drop lobbies. All places new players may get scammed when this is a game you shouldn't even think about going that route to begin with. Just give yourself a couple weeks with the game and you will learn more by watching YouTube and searching things on the internet. These players also have a tendency to say and do some corny shit and a lot of times them modding and glitching is doing something that ruins someone else's game like giving them modded shit. Basically what I'm saying is Cheesy Chad is that dude who wants to drop you Black Flint's tinder boxes or this gun with no texture on it that also sucks ass. Which most modded guns are complete and utter dog shit and should be tossed off a cliff as soon as humanly possible. And no, I'm not even talking about community mods, like actual modded guns that people have bugged into the vanilla version of the game. And you'll see them from time to time if you leave your session open or you have joined any random lobbies. These players are also grouped in with our power leveling Patricks that we talked about earlier. Joining random lobbies and giving them guns that they didn't ask for, or just acting as an elitist. They can't just play the game. They gotta do this, that, and the other thing before moving on. There's a lot of examples to be made for a cheesy Chad, but whatever it might be that you want to do with these games, go for it. Just please, don't ruin them for anybody else. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Were there any players that I forgot today? Were you one of them and you think I'm wrong? Whatever the case may be, 
you know where to find me. My links to my Twitter will also be below. Please go give me a follow over on there. I'm going to be giving more updates and information on upcoming videos over there, so just stay tapped in. But if you're looking for more playthrough type content, I've been featuring in a Hyperion Allegiance playthrough with my younger cousin Milkman. He just dropped the long awaited episode 6, which I have not seen just yet, but I've got a couple of snippets while he was making it, and I was laughing my ass off. So please, even if you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, please go show Milkman your love. I will leave episode 6 in the description as well. I would highly appreciate that, but I'm serious when I say this. No matter what kind of player you are, as long as you get fun out of it, that's what really matters. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. I love you all to death. Please take it easy out there. Stay safe. And with that, I will see you all in the next one.